Rider Thoughtport Hospice um, has been here in Peterborough since 1991, um, so it's like 28 years now. Uh, we've been caring for people here in the community of Peterborough and the surrounding regions. Sea Ride provides um, palliative end of life care, um, but we also provide um, respite and symptom management for our patients as well. Around 55-60% of our patients will spend time here um, and then go home if that's what their wishes are. Back in 2014, um, our mum was diagnosed with multimeloma, which is a bone type of cancer. So she was in and out of hospital, undergoing radiotherapy and chemotherapy. She was also in a lot of pain, um, which the hospital tried to manage, but it got to a point where she was in constant pain 24-7. So the hospital referred us to Fort Paul. She came here for respite and we just felt like she was safe and happy here and everyone was able to control her pain. And um, days when she wanted to see her dog Tyler, she was allowed to bring him in to like visit and we walked around the grounds with her get some fresh air and it was really nice because the surroundings are lovely like compared to a hospital it feels more like a family home. We applied for uh, funding for my post which is the clinical educators post here at Thorpal um, and we applied for £50,000 that will cover two years of my um, employment here and be able to develop more education within Sue Ryder Thorpal Hospice. So we'd love the support of BGL um, and its employees over the next two years. You can get involved in a range of ways, um, starting off with fundraising. In addition to that, we're always looking for volunteers as well. So that could be volunteering here within our gardens here at the hospice, but also more importantly out in the community. What we'd really like to do is have volunteers working out in the community for us, helping to spread awareness about the care that we provide and on the back of that hopefully attracting more people to do fundraising activities for us as well. 